So today we're looking at a fold that has an overbite. So basically what's happened is we have mandibular brechanism. So the mandible is shorter than the maxilla. So in layman's terms, his top jaw is much longer. The teeth are overgrown and they no longer touch in the front. Uh, by correction early while they're developing, we can slow the growth of the top jaw and allow the lower jaw to grow. So as you look here, uh, horse is upside down. So the top teeth are in the bottom of the picture. Lower teeth are in the uh, top of the picture, so everything's reversed. And you can see now how we're coming into contact with our palate. Uh, not ideal. Nobody wants to bite and chew their tongue, bite and chew their lip, or certainly bite and chew their palate. So we're going to put something in here that's made of aluminum, covered in acrylic and pressure material. So now this horse can bite in the correct place. And this lower jaw is going to grow forward until it comes into contact with the upper jaw. And so that's gonna take about six months to do, but this is a young developing foal. This is a uh, thoroughbred, approximately four months of age. Okay, so here we are post-operatively. Uh, braces have been placed. There are wires now tied from the teeth in the back, the cheek teeth, to the teeth in the front on the incisors. And this is the top jaw we're talking about. And also we've applied an orthodontic device. This orthodontic device began as an aluminum plate and has been covered in an acrylic. We do that in a way that provides an inclined plane. An inclined plane will now engage the mandibular incisors, pulling them forward. Uh, we know from orthodontics and humans that it only takes six newtons of force to move a tooth. So that's why little tiny rubber bands on your kid's teeth are enough to move teeth left, right, front to back. And so it doesn't take a whole lot. Every time this horse chews, these teeth are gonna be pulled forward. And then the braces, the wires that are in place are retarding the growth of the maxilla while the mandible grows. And so this device will be on for up to six months. And at that point, these teeth will line up with these teeth and we'll take everything off. For more equine dentistry with Dr. Tanner, check out Stallside Podcast, available on YouTube and your favorite podcast streaming platform.